Hello and welcome to ET Info. My name is David Barnes. I'm part of the IBM Emerging Technologies Group. This video is the third in a series around one of our new technologies called Project Blue Spruce. In previous videos, I was joined by Dan Gisolfi, and Dan showed me around Blue Spruce and talked about why we're making it. In this video, I'll be joined by Dan again so he can give us some demonstrations of different customer scenarios the team's been working on. So, Dan Gisolfi, Chief Technology Evangelist for Project Blue Spruce. Thanks for joining me again, Dan. Thank you, David, for having me. My pleasure. So, hey, you've shown me around Project Blue Spruce. You gave me some information about why Blue Spruce, etc. Um, what do we got here? What are you showing right now? So, David, as I mentioned in uh, our last uh, video, um, Project Blue Spruce can be used for a spectrum of uh, meeting application types, uh, one of which are purpose-built applications or reoccurring type of meetings. In this case, we have a scenario of uh, a real estate investment where you, you have a broker, let's say I'm the broker, and a potential buyer, that would be you, uh, interested in exploring prior to going to see some property, uh, potential um, uh, houses for sale. Um, and in this case, um, if I just bring you through this, I'll just click on the state of Alaska because I I'm guessing you may be interested in some property in Alaska, David. <laughs> You're wrong. Uh, <laughs> and so I just went off and clicked on a zip code. And you can now, as I'm chatting here, you can go and select a property. And what I want to emphasize to the audience here as you're, as you're going to select a property is that this is an extension of what we had, of an application we had done in our times with uh, mashups or situational applications. This is a very rich uh, web application. Uh, that is using Open Ajax Alliance technologies and standards. It is comprised of, of five gadgets on a page. Each are pre-wired. Um, and all of the data on the page is being uh, made available to us via Web 2.0 standards and um, uh, from uh, external content providers. But what we've done is we've taken that application and enhanced it with the notion of our cooperative web. And basically, every time you click, and I click, we, those simultaneous interactions are being shared. Okay, so, so let me stop and do a little translation. Um, I, I say taking it from Dan speak and putting it to human speak. You and I are together on the web. You're getting your information from, in this case, um, Google Maps, and you're getting, I don't like that view. I'm going to change that view. I can do that, can't I? You can. So you're getting your information from Google, from Trulia, from Zillow. I'm getting mine across my internet connection, and we're simply sending small packets of information back and forth through the Blue Spruce server. So we're telling our browsers how to react and interact. That's correct. That's correct. And, and so what, what's um, interesting here is that this application, why it was actually done for a uh, an analyst who wanted to uh, uh, relocate from the Northeast down to Austin, Texas. Um, th this can be used for any uh, real estate broker who would be interested in collaborating with their potential clients prior to having a meeting. So in other words, this has a purpose-built uh, usage uh, for um, a domain, in this case, the real estate area. Okay. And Dan, I have to do this because you're seeing what I do. I'm looking at a house here for $875,000, and I just clicked on it so you can see what I, what I did, a and it's in Anchorage, and you worked with an analyst that wanted to move to Austin, but yet <laughs> you showed homes in Alaska. Well, I don't well. think there's a big difference, Dan. <laughs> I'm trying to show that this is a very diverse application. <laughs> you better stick with being a developer because sales <laughs> is definitely not your field. So, so this is really a mashup, too. Lots yeah. of information from different places all put together, but it's way more interactive. Um, I know you've got another example. How about if you show me that? Sure. So uh, if you just follow me up to the uh, Blue, Scru Blue Spruce logo up by the word welcome, and you I click on that. got it. Okay. Now what's happening here, David, you and I are exiting a instance of a cooperative web application, the real estate application, and we're arriving back at our Blue Spruce homepage where we have a catalog listing of registered Blue Spruce applications or cooperative web enabled applications. I want to point out to your audience that um, th these applications can be hosted anywhere. They don't have to be on our Blue Spruce app uh, server. Uh, in this case, they are. Um, now, if you wish to join me in the morning call example, if you click the join button, we can go into another ex example. 
So, wow, Dan, this is completely different. Tell me uh, what's going on here. Well, David, this is, once again, a very rich interactive web application. Um, this was uh, a scenario that came to us from Thomson Reuters, which, by the way, I'd like to mention that Thomson Reuters is an example of a content provider in the financial sector that has embraced Web 2.0 standards. Everything that that's we're using here are um, uh, Web 2.0 services, uh, RSS feeds, Atom feeds, uh, XMPP push messaging. They've really made use of the, the standards here to uh, uh, make available content for use in applications such as this, whereby the scenario in this case was a, if you can imagine, financial analyst being in Frankfurt, London, and New York, um, being remote and wanting to come together and collaborate about the financial news of the day. And so you, we have here not just the video capture from our webcams here, David, right. the people in the meeting, um, but also we have streaming video from, uh, from Reuters. We have articles. You can see we have an article here. In fact, you can click on another article there. I have the technology news uh, up there if you wish. Just click on another other topic that you may want to see. Yeah, so, so while I'm doing that, ooh, there's a bunch of them here I'd love to click on. Um, Morning Call is essentially a bunch of financial people coming together, right? Isn't that the history of what a Morning Call is? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so in this case, we could have people all over in the financial market that get together every morning and they share information before they go out and do their trades for the day, and the information's coming from multiple sources. Exactly. And, and you know, everything here is, again, this is an example of a purpose-built scenario um, because um, we can reuse the same content uh, it, over and over, and, and, you know, each day. That's fantastic. Hey, let's bring this to a close so we fit in the 10-minute YouTube time frame, and we'll come back and you can show me my absolute favorite around telemedicine. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, thanks, Dan. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways you can use Project Blue Spruce. And in the next video, Dan will be back to show one of my very favorites, telemedicine. This video, that video, and all of the others I make I post at youtube.com slash ibmetinfo. And if you're interested in engaging with us around a proof of concept around Blue Spruce, you can contact our JSTART team. That's our Jumpstart team. And that's jstart at us.ibm.com.